Hello everybody, Seeky the Kid here, and welcome back to even more Pokemon Crystal Clear. Last episode, we got to Cinnabar Island, and we completed the gym there. And, we actually got our 8th badge, but we are not done. Remember, in this game, there are 16 total. And since we can get them in any order without any needs of finding the Pokemon League first, we're gonna do just that. It's finally time we're taking on... Whitney's gym, and if you remember, we already took out this lady. And I want to present to you a brand new team member. This is Coxonia, the Venusaur. I went back and I looked for about three hours for a Bulbasaur to spawn because for some reason it didn't. But if you look in the Pokedex, after, like I said, checking Oak's lab for these guys, you can find out the Bulbasaur can appear in this game. They made it so that way they could spawn in the Ilek Forest area. So just go there. It's very rare, though, so I doubt you're going to find one that easily. And if you excuse me, I'm going to cough. <coughs> okay. Good. Now, we still don't have any fighting types, but I doubt we're going to need to worry about it too much. Oh, great, okay. Don't let my Pokemon's cute looks fool you. They can whip you. This is Whitney's gym, and it's making me a little worried. Last carry wants to battle. Grambley. Eh? Level 44, they've caught up to us. That's actually a little worrying, meaning Whitney is going to be probably in the 50s. Oh god, I don't like where this is going. Like, Whitney was already notorious for having that mill tank. Now that mill tank is going to be high leveled. And it's not even going to be your second Pokemon, it's going to be like her fourth or fifth even. John, I thought you were weak. Compared to Whitney, yeah, but you, nah, you're easy. Uh, oh, 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 we got past. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone is into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Oh, please. We all know you're good, Whitney. Here we go, Leader Whitney. Notorious. The Fable! Oh! This is not gonna end well for me! I'm gonna use Faint Attack, because it's our strongest move right now. Ooh. Metronome! Please don't! Of course you got Rollout! The one move that I didn't want to see. Because her, her mill tank knows it too. Like, no, this is not even spoilers. This is just Pokemon fact. If you know, if you ever heard of Pokemon, you know about Whitney. She's sitting on her mill tank now? Okay. Go, Cook Sonia! Uh, starting out with the rollout. I'm gonna use poison powder. Get it poisoned. I'm gonna throw a leech seed on it. So it takes a ton of damage every turn. I love this type of strategy. And we're gonna just. I'm gonna use growth. We're gonna up our stats. It's gonna give us health back. Ah, oh, the Venusaur stats are good. It keeps using rollout. It's like. Okay, so there's Whitney's mill tank down. 
What else does she have? Because this is something we've never seen before. Oh. No. No, no. We'll stay in. The Venusaur strategy can adapt. That thing looks horrifying. We use poison powder. It knows fire blast! Cook Sonia, no! Yeah. Nice. Live to fight another day! Come back! So that's Fire Blast, eh? Well, it's not gonna hit much on this guy. I don't even remember what level it is. It's hurt by poison. I'm gonna use Thrash just so that way... Because I'm gonna switch out after this. Double Edge! That's gonna be bad. Oh, that was. That was really bad. Okay, with Recoil. Hurt by Poison. Please don't use anything. Good, we got Thrash off. We're gonna switch out. Because Confusion is gonna be mean. Hexonia grew to level 43. Oh my god, I can't believe it survived. That... That was amazing, man. This is actually thrilling. Yes, let's change Pokemon. Um... Stantler, Stantler, Stantler. Let's send in Cerberus. Cerberus is my strongest Pokemon. It is almost level 50. I'm gonna use Feint Attack. Oh my god, her Miltic wasn't her strongest level Pokemon. Take down. Ooh, it's gonna do. It's gonna do a lot. I can't, this is, this is way too much for me, dude. This is actually thrilling. Oh my god, and I thought Whitney was bad before. Her mill tank went down a little easier this time, but oh my god, this is mean. She has a Tauros! That's a Tauros, man! The male counterpart- OH MY GOD! It has Earthquake. I'm sorry, Cerberus, you, you're going down no matter what there, buddy. Let's send in Kamazots, because he cannot be hit by Earthquake at all, so that nullifies that. Let's use Confuse Ray. I do want to see what else this thing has. I'm not... I am legitimately curious. If it has Thunder, I'm going to be sad. Because I do know Taurus can learn that. Maybe it's best that I just take it out now. I should stop wasting time. Darn it, I... Stop pushing that so fast! I hate you. We got Steel Wing though, we'll take care of it. Not a permanent fix, trust me. Bite, bite. And we're gonna use Steel Wing. Yes! Yes! I don't know what that was. Yes! Please! Oh my god, we took down Whitney. I can't add- I really am amazed. Oh, 
no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Oh, wait, I need my badge! Thank you! You, you insane little murderer! Oh, she stopped crying! Wow, but that she was quick. That was a good cry! Come for a visit again! Bye bye! Wow, don't you just love it when you need to cry so you do it and just everything feels so much better. No, because that doesn't sound right. Same here. I am never fighting Whitney again until the bonus video when I fight all the gym leaders at their max. While we're in Goldenrod, we are going to heal the Pokemon up. There you go. Gotta add the skip in somewhere. That's a bike shop. I don't need to worry about that. Uh, all right. It's 34. No, I do not need to be there. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at something real quick. No, not the Poke Gear. Not the Poke Gear. Don't worry. Let's take a look at our badges. We only have two more um people left. And let's see. I think I know where to find them. I, I, trying to remember. I know where Dragon's Den is. I know where to find hers. I don't remember, um, the second one though. Cause like I said, I've never played this game before. I know, I know about the Dragon's Den, and I'm, I, just thinking about it. Um, I have not played it before, but I've seen part of this game before. Cause my, like, um, same actually, same friend actually who um was talking to me about shiny Pokemon. And, like, I got the shiny Zatu and stuff like that all the time ago. Um, he was playing, um, a little time later. Like, he was playing Crystal. He just got it. And it was, like, an official release of the game on the, um, you know. Okay, basically, he got it for his Game Boy. He played to the, he was at the second gym and he was, like, showing me a bit. Trying to, you know... Like, show me how the old games worked. It's gonna be terrible trying to fight Brock, thinking about it. Anyways. Let's see, uh, where have I not gone before? Gonna take out the... Poke gear now. Let's take a look. I have been to Elect Force, but I have not been to Azalea Town. I say that's our next stop. Which means we're heading down, so... Music! Said music. M music. Oh! How did I get here? Looks like we're actually heading to the Elec Force now. So, looks like I shouldn't have come here that much earlier. But this is, um, we're approaching the area where I found the Bulbasaur. And I do actually think maybe I do want to catch an Abra in case, like, maybe, I don't know. I actually should already have one, so yeah. Actually, let's just run. I don't really care. Didn't mean to do that, but hey, it works. This song's gonna drive me insane if I keep listening to it. That's Lavender Town's theme. Let's listen to this instead. Wild Pokemon could appear anywhere here, by the way. Case in point. 
But as you can see as well, this is a really early in-game area in case you started in Johto. This is where you can get some Pokemon. And like how we can get Chikorita, this is where you can find Bulbasaur. I was really hoping it would have been a Bulbasaur. But yeah, this is where I got my Bulbasaur and I trained it up um, to become a Venusaur. I actually went back to Kanto and I fought Mystia about uh, several hundred times. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using Headbutt. It's fun here. You should try too. We got Headbutt! I already bought Headbutt though. Or, you know, a Pineco that knows self destruct. Yes, you can actually find those. Ah! No. I don't like you either. Item! Yeah! A revive! That's awesome for now. This is not. Ah! That's funny, when I was looking for Bulbasaur, I didn't see this. Many encounters. Oh my god. I see it! I see it! And we're out of there. To Azalea Town. And for some reason, I just feel like recording a long episode, so why don't we take out the gym here, too? And we'll save the dragon type gym for later. Because obviously, Dragon's Den, you probably already pieced together. Ah! People are really gonna wonder why I did that. I just, I don't like getting phone calls. Cerberus, you're gonna love this. Oh darn it, I pushed the wrong button. I didn't mean to fast forward. Anyways, let's see. I just realized this is technically... Oh, God. We're fighting... Okay. 46. That number's rapidly increasing, and it's starting to get a little worrying. Brock is going to be a monster. But now we have a Venusaur that's going to help us take him out. 49, nice. I'm probably going to get everyone up in the 50s. I'm probably even going to get Cerberus up to 60, probably. Though, that may be a little much. I'll tell you, I'll make sure that I don't get over-leveled. But this gym is definitely for Cerberus. It's good to see my starter get a ton of action. Especially with that flamethrower! These guys have a lot of Pokemon. I mean, it is technically two people. But four, though. Oh no, it's the Revenge of Solitaire, man! He's out for blood! I, I know I gave, I gave him to these children, but man, they leveled him up quick. Oh, he it's a she. Apparently they gave him a sex change. Because <laughs> last I checked, my area does male. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm joking around. But that'd be the funniest bit of backstory. And originally I wasn't planning on actually getting a, um, a Bulbasaur. I was actually planning on getting a Vileplume, an Oddish. But then I decided to actually go with the uh, Venusaur because same type and just the better stats overall. 
Though Cerberus will be always known as my starter, the Bulbasaur is just something I got on the way. If Ash can get one, so could I. My Pokemon are all grown up. Well, you aren't. A bug catcher. My god, these are the strongest bug catchers I've ever seen. That's creepy. 49! Oh, he's gonna have level 50s. He's gonna have level 50s. Oh my god, no! This is not good, man. We are totally going to be demolished. Why are you not Bug Dragon? It would make so much sense. You're a dragonfly. You are literally a dragonfly. You have an evolution that's even more of a dragon looking thing. And it's still not a dragon. They're gonna give you the Gyarados treatment. You'll be a dragon when you can Mega Evolve. No, I mean a Char the Charizard treatment. Running through. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. I hope Bugsy's not a girl. I think it's a guy. Level 46, eh? And five Pokemon too. These guys are starting to get tough. Yeah, we're really starting to hit that mark. I stopped training my guys up because I was worried that I'd be way too over level. Now I'm starting to feel under leveled again. Because half of my team is not at this level. Only Cerberus is actually at this level. I'm so glad. Oh my god, he has a full team! I thought he only had a team of five! Okay! Pseudo Wudo. Okay, so do not use fire on it. Got it. Pseudo Wudo is a rock type, not a grass type. That's why it has the name Pseudo. Pseudo means false or fake. 151, I have Mew Health. No! Probably has a Pseudo Wudo on his team to take care of any fire type Pokemon. But I thought he was supposed to be a bug type trainer. Why does he using grass types for? Grass is weak to bug. Come on. Heracross. I'm going to shove because this thing actually could do some serious damage. Oh, thank please God. I did not expect this to happen. We have to beg that Cerberus' special attack is gonna blow everyone away. Pincer! I definitely think he has a Beedrill on his team as well, because he has a Butterfree. You know, Pincer is like the opposite of Heracross in a way. Oh, God. I won't lie, I, ha I have a fear of insects. So, yeah, I... I I mean, not Pokemon. Pokemon's fine, because, you know, they're enlarged and they're more cartoonish than real, but, oh, God. I, I, I don't like beetles, especially. Oh, there's the Beedrill, thinking about it. I, the things I fear the most are bees, dude. But I'm not going to lie, I would love to have a Beedrill in real life. I don't know why. I want to be Joe in real life, but I'm terrified, literally terrified of bees. I will not lie to you guys. I, if I see a bee outside, especially even if it's a honeybee, I am going to jump inside my house. I will not just open the door. I will practically th go through it to get away. A scissor. Even though it's my last Pokemon, bug Pokemon are tough. 
Flamethrower, come on, it's four times weakness, it's a steel bug! Oh my god! Dude! That's insane! That the level difference is that high! Whoa, amazing! You're an expert on Pokemon! My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. Hera received the Hive Badge. I also want you to have this. We got TM49. I won't lie, I really want to get Ice Beam. I know that's not Ice Beam, it's Fury Cutter. Um, I want to get Ice Beam for Gyarados. Because I want Gyarados to be my Dragon Slayer. It's a pseudo dragon, so I think the pseudo dragon should get his time to ch to beat others that are real. And you know what? Perfect time to end it off here, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Crystal Clear, and I'll see you all next time.